Thank you for joining me today. I'm Andy Dotson with the Lexus Eastern Area, and I am thrilled to take you on a quick walk around of this stunning LC500 convertible. In this video, we'll be talking about the exterior of this stunning LC convertible. From its sleek roof line to its low wide stance, it's apparent that the convertible was strikingly designed from the top down. While there aren't too many convertibles out there on the market now, not so many do a fantastic job of keeping a sleek appearance with the roof up or down. The engineers at Lexus painstakingly work to create a roof line that embodies the spirit of the coupe over there. At the same time, when it's retracted, it should still be as sleek. And I think they did a fantastic job in part because of the four layer fabric construction of this soft top. Not only does it ensure that the cabin stays quiet, but the four layer construction also masks the ridge lines that are usually apparent from the structure holding up the soft top in other convertibles. When developing a large grand touring car like the LC, the Lexus engineers had to figure out ways to save weight. That's why for the coupe and convertible, they use lightweight and exotic materials. The hood, the front fender, and the outer door skin are all made out of aluminum while the inner door skin in the trunk lid is made out of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. But for the convertible specifically, they had to rethink how they can make this soft top as light as possible. Now, while it does have four layers for good sound insulation, in between the layers are the support structures. The inner support structures are made out of magnesium as well as aluminum to save weight and make sure that you can still enjoy great driving feedback in this grand touring car. As you can see, the Lexus LC coupe and convertible both share that distinctive and bold spindle grille image in the front of the vehicle that's shared across the entire Lexus lineup. However, I believe this truly is the best iteration of Lexus's spindle grille. As you might notice, the bottom portion of the pattern is more spaced out to allow better airflow. However, the pattern starts to condense as your eye naturally goes to the focal point, which is the Lexus emblem. Now there is a story worth sharing with the spindle grille. You see, it all started back in the late 1800s when Sakichi Toyota saw how hard his mother was working sewing by hand. Inspired by this, he created Japan's first automated loom machine and then created the company Toyota Loom Works. He then later sold that patent for his loom machine for a million yen and gave the proceeds to his son with the promise that he would go into a forward-thinking business, which would be the automobile business. Now this spindle grill is meant to embody that history and allude to the weave pattern that the loom machine would make. Now that you know a little bit about our history, you can enjoy looking at this dynamic and bold and beautiful design but also know that there's a bit more behind it. All LCs will share this super sleek, ultra compact triple beam LED headlight with a daytime running light that's integrated into the body. Not only is it distinctive in its styling, but it's also practical and very bright. It truly was an engineering challenge for our team to find a way to create the packaging for this headlight while maintaining this ultra low slung hood line. They literally had to recreate a way of achieving an LED bulb half of its size that can create equal amount of luminosity. And I think the hard work has paid off. On the side profile of the vehicle, you're greeted with a real air intake. This air intake not only channels that slippery air across the body at highway speeds for better straight line stability, but also will help you improve your fuel economy. Moving to the rear of the LC convertible, you'll notice a beautifully sculpted rear bumper, but with the keen eye, you might pick up on a slight silhouette of the spindle grille, which you saw on the front of the car. Furthermore, the Lexus engineers created this distinctive and well-styled taillight. Each taillight housing has 80 individual LEDs and was inspired by the afterburner of a fighter jet. 
It even has this cool sense of infinite depth using a one-way mirror. But don't be fooled. This housing for the rear taillight is actually only three inches deep to allow for the targo capacity that's large enough to fit two golf bags. The Lexus designers wanted to make sure that the trunk lid of the LC500 convertible not only houses the third brake light, but also looks good. That's why they gave this trunk lid a raised ducktail appearance to laterally broaden the width of the vehicle. For your convertible, consider the three wheel options. There is the base level standard wheel, as well as the one you see behind me, which is our 20 inch 10 spoke staggered wheel that is finished in a nice dark graphite color. This has been a recent change for the 2021 LCs. You can also upgrade for a sportier look to the 21 inch staggered forged alloy wheels that you see on this white coupe here. Regarding the brakes, in the back are four piston caliper brakes. In the front are six piston caliper brakes housed in a monoblock caliper. It's housed in a monoblock caliper for extra reliability and stopping power. Regarding the LC Convertible's exterior color palette, there are 11 options to choose from, so you're bound to find one that strikes your eye. For the interior, there is Rioja Red, Black, and Toasted Caramel, all finished with the highest quality semi-aniline leather. For the top, it's available in black or tan. So please contact your local Lexus dealer to find out more how you can configure your LC convertible. Well, thank you for watching that video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. This is an amazing car and truly a first for Lexus. If you'd love to be a part of this amazing experience, please contact your local Lexus dealer and if you have any questions on how to configure your LC convertible, ask about our ordering guide.